Our first narrative is on Fatima Alfiri. Muller and Locand research shows that students with double jeopardy status, such as Muslim women, suffer from stereotypes that they are not good at mathematics. According to Biza Haloni, multicultural education can be used in the classroom to address student stereotypes of Muslim women in education. Rasadul Berry shows that websites are more effective than multicultural education because they incorporate learning narratives that can address stereotypes. Fatima was a product of the Golden Age of Islam. She was born in Tunisia in 800 AD, but her father moved to Morocco for business opportunities. However, the death of her father left Fatima and her sister with a vast inheritance. Fatima used her newfound wealth to found the world's first university, which began as the al qara Wiyin Mosque and Library and later turned to al qara Wiyin University. Many see al qara Wiyin as being the perfect example of how the Muslim faith combines the spiritual with the educational, says al Faria of the Islamic Post. Though not much is known about Fatima, she and her sister Mariam studied Islamic jurisprudence and mathematics. In fact, Fatima was a student in her own university, al qara Wiyin. Her contributions to mathematics education are recorded in the Raud al kirtis the Garden of Pages the definitive history of Morocco written in Arabic in 1326 CE by the 14th century historian Ibn Abizar. Indeed, this is the only historical source which records Fatima's life and contributions. In it, Ibn Abizar wrote that Fatima often spent her time discussing mathematics with Maryam during the construction of al qara Wiyin University. This worksheet is inspired by Fatima's quest to understand mathematics. Fatima was also known as Umm al-Banin, which means Mother of Sons, an apt title given her kindness and caring for her students. Fatima always had an interest in promoting mathematics education, which is why she expanded the mosque area under the rule of the fifth Idrisid ruler and Sultan Yahya ibn Muhammad. Fatima supervised the entire construction of al qara Winin. In fact, she fasted for the entire period of construction of the mosque and library, which took two years. 857 through 859 AD. After its expansion, students from different parts of Muslim societies gathered in this mosque to learn Islamic jurisprudence, fiqh, and mathematics. DW 2020. Arabic numbers were used for the first time in European mathematics at this university. Famous people such as the historian Ibn Khaldun graduated from the al qara Winin University. DW 2020. Fatima's legacy is vast and influential. The European Union offers an annual scholarship, the Fatima Alfiri Scholarship, for students in Algeria, Morocco, Libya, Tunisia, and Egypt. Tunisia, the country of Alfiri's birth, provides an annual award, the Fatima Alfiri Award, dedicated to women who have significant educational attainment and who contribute to empowering other women, much as Alfiri did millennia ago. Learn more about Fatima Alfiri from the following resources. PowerPoint, video bio, podcast, worksheet, video tutorial for worksheet, and answer key from the following website, www.muslimwomenmathematicians.org. Rasa Dulberry is a physics teacher at Brooklyn Tech. He is a doctoral candidate at Columbia University.